Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment news, lifestyle conversations, celebrity gossip, showbiz, and so much more. If it's not on Tea Time, it is not big enough. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very amazing co-anchors with me. And interesting co-anchors. Ife Omai oh and Benny Ark. Beautiful co-anchors. Style it. Okay, go on. Okay, you need to speak to him to appreciate my compliments the way you do our stuff. So <laughs> just talk to him. You need to begin to appreciate my Benny compliments. Benny is feeling himself these days. I don't know what's happening. Is this a virus? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay, we're not supposed to be very excited right All now right. because um, oh. singer-songwriter Be With Us is dead. In a statement made available to press by his family, the three time Grammy Award winner died on Monday in Los Angeles from heart complications. He was 81. Some of his evergreen tracks are Ain't No Sunshine, Lovely Day, Just the Two of Us, and Lean On Me. I'm mm. sure those songs ring, ring a bell right now. Of like course. Just the Two sing? of Us, Just Lean the On two Me, of us. Um, Lean On Me, yeah, uh, what's the other one again? Ain't No shy. Sunshine. Those were songs, those were, those were records that I grew up in in my house. Me, mm -hmm. my, my dad, my uncles Someone's always. Old. Yeah, I am. I mean, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> I that generation. You know, you know, so, <laughs> um, you know um, Just the Two of Us was actually a collaboration between him and Grover Washington Jr. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a big hit, you know. And so to think that in the life of me, amazing, in the life of me, I actually thought, I mean, Bill Withers was gone all as well, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because there was, there was just I silence. It feels that way sometimes. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, there was just so much silence around him, man. But the music, every time he came yeah, on, I think he retired just, from active music in I, the 80s. Yeah. So, yeah, so he you know, went so, into I mean, family hey, life. It's it's pretty sad. I mean, but this is something about Evergreen Records. They they never they never fade. They never yeah. go old. And mm. for me, I still think sometimes, you know, that the best the best in music um, was is behind us. You know, it's from the past, not mm. necessarily anything right now. I don't know what's going to sound like in the future. You know, so I want to say I want to say thank him. I want to say thank you for you know for the songs you gave. Um, thank you, made, you for you leaving. Made, you, made life, you made the world more better, more happier for many people. Mm -hmm. um, every time his record comes on, I just I just could relate with it where I was at that point in time as a little boy. I could still remember the few things that were happening around me, and so it just oh. it brings back great, beautiful, sweet memories. And so he lives in our hearts. That's let him keep resting in peace. Yeah, I mean, you King. said everything. I don't know how you can top that, but yeah. I mean, it's what it is. He's really blessed us with good music, and I think he would, it would continue to stay with us. Such a fine man. Yeah. So imagine what it was like <sighs> when he was younger. Yeah. yeah. Okay, may he still rest in peace, and uh, may your legacy live on. So moving on to the next story, Nigerian rapper Vector says telecoms companies are taking Nigerians on ride or on a ride with bad internet services. He said, I still don't get how companies that distribute internet services are okay with taking Nigerians for a ride with whack internet service and still take their money. Even at times like the one we are in right, right now, your internet is still trash. When you call people now, the fools will advise you to wash your hands, but they forget they are doing it already for us with taking out our money till the end and not take care of, um, take customer care serious, end of quote. You know, I'm going to try my best on this deck, right? <laughs> not, to, not to insult the sensib sensibility of Nigerians, okay. you know, but I just feel most of the time we allow this nonsense to go on. You know, and there's, there's, there's an internet provider that comes to mind easy that I want to call out right now. Call Spe them, I mean, Spectranet. I mean, <laughs> you, you all better do better than what it is you're doing. You know what I mean? I was going to you fight know? for them, but then you hit the people you I know. know. I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, that's true. Spectranet. I mean, I even went on Twitter to actually rant. You know, I, I paid for your so-called, you know, unlimited bundle that's supposed to be like 18000 oh. something. Mm -hmm. I never got value for my money. My, mm. my, my modem was never, was never um, activated. Was, and then up to now, that has not been resolved. They say, talk to your bank, talk to Special e transact. At Benny Ark and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Thank you, very you know, much. and so we're going to continue experiencing this very poor, abysmal, you know, service provision until we as a people decide to wake up and say, you know, enough of this nonsense. Okay, you so know. in the light of that, yes. what do we do? <laughs> what now? do we do? Yeah, how do we, we, we? I'm sorry, we have a regulator called the NCC. Uh, so you know, we need to, so, they I mean, need we, to we be need, the ones to hold this we need, we need a forum. We need, we need a forum. We need a stakeholders forum because the people of Nigeria were also stakeholders in this. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it's our money. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need a forum where we can express our grievances, our dissatisfaction, our being disgruntled to the NCC, and something really should be done about it. Okay, so now, it's always been the case, you know, and 
They'll complain after a while. They, they won't say anything about it. And I feel that's what Spectrum is trying to make me do. Now, you know what? Um, he will get this is tired. This personal. <laughs> very, 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 you know, okay, you know, we are sorry. Because you know why? You know why? Because, because I need a Wi-Fi at home. I need yeah. an internet at home. Mm -hmm. I mean... I had to immediately oh, activate again. Really, so that's actually the thing is, I've, I've, I've had this experience you know, with Spectranet, and I called them out on social media constantly for a very long time. And I think they now realized and noted my, um, what's it called? Is it username now? Yes, ID. Your, your ID. So I don't think I have issues with them your anymore. ID. I don't know, but I, I understand what you're saying. However, I want to pick on what he said when he talked about the, the message of washing hands. I think that is very commendable from our um, networks. networks. Um, I think that comes on on your first call of the day so yeah. they remind you to wash your hands regularly practice social distancing and stuff like that that's commendable i also like his wordplay basically saying that they're washing off our the money's in our hands literally because yeah. if you're taking my money and you're not, you're not giving me service for what i'm paying for then you're robbing me right so mm -hmm. i get it but i want to commend them for that one yeah. and also say please and right now the network is bad in fact, it's worse than bad. It's horrible. I think because everyone is yeah. at home and we are all on the internet, okay, so I have it's, a, I it's crazy. I have haven't experienced that. For, I use Smile, for example, and I have a friend that complains mm. about Smile all the time. So I, I have a very strong feeling it has something to do with networks because I don't complain about Smile at all in my house, when I'm in my house. But when I get to the island or well, phase one, Smile doesn't exist in phase one. No, that's it. Um, so that's I think it's something... I, I don't want to completely blame the networks i think there's something that has to do with the infrastructure that they are working in as part the way nigeria works and i'm not sure because i don't work in the service but whatever but i don't know maybe there is a bigger problem other than the service that they are directly providing i'm not sure here i'm just trying to pay you know diplomatic here but if i am wrong obviously i'm I I'll wish be, I had more time you know, to respond to them. I'm sorry, we, we shouldn't leave the, the bigger I, players. I mean, we can't yeah. leave the bigger players out of these. I mean, should we call their names also? The, the bigger boys in, in telecom. We can't, we can't leave them. You've got to. Maybe you know, we should call the rest. But you know what? I mean, let's move on, Ben. So it's they need, okay. They need to make... They need to make we'll their services to better they're, for they're Nigerians. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sorry. Thank now you, moving Chelsea. on. Cut down all excesses, focus on education and healthcare. This is coming from Frank Donga to the federal government. He says, and I quote, it is obvious that Nigeria cannot carry the financial weight of um, elaborate and luxurious governance anymore, cut down on excesses and focus on what really matters, like a solid healthcare system and education, end of quote. <laughs> Uh, why are you laughing? We see, we see. Anyway, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have sense. Don't have sense. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, that's Frank Dunga. He's yeah. always funny. But I, I, I mean, we've been saying this. This is not the first time. Um, if you have the time to quickly pass the bill that will give you new cars every ten or is it every year, then maybe you should also put the same energy in important things. I think this is something that um, the world has to learn. It looks different for each each place, but I think coronavirus being here has kind of just shown us how much we are focused on things that don't really matter. Um, and it's important to start to focus on the things that really, truly do matter. I mean, if the lockdown is on globally in a lot of places and there's still some places running because they're essential, then those places need to be, um, you know, looked into and really developed for sure. The health system is one of them. I think so other places maybe do better, obviously do better than us here. But I know for sure that Nigeria needs to really work on our health system and our education system. I don't know what it would cost for us to do that but I, I, this is going to maybe be the most the entire, the entire, pessimistic we'll the entire budget. Budget. but we need to start from somewhere I was going to say budget. that uh, this is probably the most pessimistic thing I would say but I don't think coronavirus is going to be the thing that would wake um, Nigerians up to do what That's they valid. need to do I feel like once this is over and they are secured and safe and they've all been tested negative we'll be back to where we started but I might be wrong and I hope I am um, that's just me yeah you know you say you don't know what that, what would take for, for that to happen the entire budget I can remember um, since 2015, there's been an increase in, in the nation, national budget, budget, what is allocated to the health sector since 2015. But it's funny to think the percentage of increase still cannot even do anything that much since 2015. Mm. We, still, we still have the most dilapidated, you know, um, not so good health hospitals people go into. The government is not paying attention to what it is they should be paying attention to. Two significant, very important sectors, health and education, always, they are always at the lower end when it comes to, you know, and that's really fund sad. being allocated yeah. to them in the national budget. That's really sad. And so there's a whole lot that needs to be done in our health sector. It's a given. We all can't deny it. Mm -hmm. the, um, the private sector is doing, they're doing their best to, to complement the efforts of what the government is failing to provide. And that comes at a very, co as a, as a huge like cost. We'll have to get to a point you know? where we stop waiting for the FG and the private sector yeah. just 
going to have to get some muscles and yes, do they do it. But you know, it, it, the, the average the man, that is that the can't average man can yeah. afford it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, they can't afford it. You know, so at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think health is something that should be so expensive for the common man not to be able to afford. And so when you walk into a private hospital, first before you, you see with a consultant, you need, you need to register. Same with a consultant, whether it's a whole lot of money. Not all. I think, you know, I think, I think um, health so, is expensive worldwide, yes. mm -hmm. right? But it depends on the kind of sickness you are bringing to the healthcare center and the kind of um, um, health care, um, what's it called now, the HMOs, the system you are registered mm. on. So there's a lot of things that we as individuals and citizens need to learn and start mm. doing for ourselves as well. But also talk, going back to the budget and how much is being allocated to the healthcare system, let's just forget about education for now. We cannot rule out corruption. So if oh, those yeah. monies mm. every year have been sincerely going into the healthcare system the way it's no, supposed to be, I don't think we'll be where we are right of now. Course. But we need to go on a very quick break because we have a guest that will be joining us because of social distancing on Skype. So um, we'll, be back, we'll be right back just after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest joining us via Skype is Joma. Umerua, who is a Nigerian comedian, singer, and actress who is known for her accents and comedy character. She's popularly known as Chi Girl. Hello, Chi Girl. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so how is it going staying at home? Um, this is day, what's now for you? For me, this would be day... Uh, this is like the third week so. Oh, okay. So you had to join the AMVCA self isolation, I'm guessing. No, I didn't go to AMVCA, so no, I didn't. Did you travel out? Hi, to you, girl. Hi, I was, I was in Abuja, not again. Okay. Time. Okay. So, um, what's your routine like? How are you coping? Um. Well, I'm I'm making making my days work. I'm trying to stay busy. I sort of I put myself on a schedule every day. So I'm I'm brushing up on my language skills. I'm playing games. I'm I'm I I mean like I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm um, watching TV, Netflixing, and chilling. A whole lot of things. So I'm I'm. My, the only thing I'm not doing is going out, so like, but my day is kind of full and productive. I'm shooting videos. Whenever ideas come, I put them out there. So, yeah, we're staying busy, kind of. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chigo, yeah, Chigo, prior to this lockdown, how would you describe your everyday life? Were, were you more of a hermit or more of an outdoor person? And, and what's the most difficult thing for you um, dealing with this lockdown as it is? Um, I, I think... I mean, my life is always outside because we're always emceeing events, we're hosting things, so we're always outdoors. So I, I sort of like learned to appreciate my personal space when I'm home. So all the private moments I get to be home, I love being home. So a lot of times if I wasn't out and about, I would always be home. So I, I mean, because the whole issue of getting up to get dressed and put on clothes and put on makeup and go out doesn't necessarily please me all the time. Um, so I like being home. And I think for me now, I think the hardest thing is seeing my family. That's literally it because they're, they're uh, my mom going to my mom's house or my brother's house or, you know, my auntie's house. I can't go to their houses. So that's the only thing because literally if I'm not there, I'm here. Okay. And 
a lot of times I'm always here. So. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. when, when all of this is I blown over, this. when all of this is blown over, what, what is that one lesson this has taught you? You say, you know, you've, you've learned from all of this. Um, that, hmm, there's so many lessons to learn, but I think the one thing that I hope, I hope will happen, and because of what I feel, I think that we are, we as a world are connected in ways that we can't even imagine. Mm. So I think just yeah. being able to reach out to one another and help one another and try to make positive changes in each other's lives yeah. is what I hope will stay with us. And I hope we'll be able to sort of like leverage on that lesson. Mm. But, but who knows? Hi, two girls. We pray. Yeah. We yeah. Pray. Um, just listen to the conversation. You mentioned how you've been trying to keep busy and you're working and shooting videos. Once, by God's grace, when this coronavirus is finally done and out, because we didn't even invite it here to begin with, um, what, what do you think we should expect from you? Like, what is the first thing that you are going to show to your audience and the world? First of all, like I, I told, I was talking to my, my brother on the phone the other day and I said, once the day they tell us, you know, it's over, there's a cure or whatever, I'm going to send out a, a post and say, Happy New Year. <laughs> because <laughs> as far you. as I'm... That day will be my January 1st. I don't right. care what day it is, but that's my January 1st. Mm. Because as far as I'm concerned, this year, yeah, <laughs> he gets us to do. So I'm going to send out a Happy New Year post and we're going to start, you know, we're going to hit the ground running. We're going right. to hit the ground running. Okay, so um, any advice for people watching you right now? How would you advise them to cope? Because some people are not finding it easy at all. So what advice would you have for them? You know, you know I'm still, first of all, like there are still some very obviously obstinate, hard-headed people who, don't, who are still not taking instruction mm. um, and still going out and still doing what they want to do in the name of I'm too bored to stay home. You have to, to, be, to be bored. You have to be alive to be bored. Would you rather be bored in the hospital? I think not. Yeah. So, I mean, we just... <clears throat> I hope that we can all literally, just for God's sake, take instruction, first of all. And then, those of you, like for those of you who are in the house and don't know what to do with yourself, your phone, if you have a smartphone, has wonders in it. Like, I literally, I'm studying my apps. I'm going through apps. Like, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could use that. I found some apps that do things I like because I like to, I'm, I'm kind of artsy, so I like to paint and draw and things like that. So I got a painting app. I have a, a drawing app. I have a cross-stitch app. And they're free. So I, I do. And I'm just... One after the other, I have a game I keep playing, and it seems to have levels up or levels up or levels. It hasn't finished yet, so eh, I keep playing that. So find something useful to do with your time. If it's learning a language, something you've never done before, maybe it's time for people to look into things they've never, ever done before and wanted to do. All right, thank you so much, Igor, for joining us on Tea Time at this time. Okay, so um, make your time count. So I guess that's just it. And I like what she said we're going to pick out from this, which is the fact that we are all connected one way or mm. the other. Yeah. So that is big enough for me. Yeah, I have to agree that we, this year doesn't count. My it birthday count. is tomorrow, by the way. But we're not counting oh. it. We're going to celebrate the next year. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Wow. So I'm really? saved, right? We're saved from yeah. buying gifts. Are we? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Next yeah. year, don't okay. All right, so let's move on. Takashi 69 um, is under home confinement after release, being released from prison. The rapper will serve the final four months of his two-year term in, in a home confinement. High-profile inmates like Bill Cosby and R. Kelly are still arguing for home confinement to so far without success. Takashi 69 underlined health issues, his earlier cooperation with the authorities, and the short remainder of his sentence may have made him a good candidate for release. You know I'm smiling. This is when we, I mean, we, we spoke about Harvey, we spoke about R. Kelly, we spoke about Bill Cosby on this yeah. table, and he's the only one I kind of felt like, ah, I think yeah. that he should be considered because of his underlying it's, health it's issues. Kevin which Spacey is, um, out of his league also. It's Kevin he Spacey not somewhere there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He, hasn't too. he was the only one I was thinking, okay, because he has a smile, you know, mm. let's consider. And I feel well, like then I'm when, doing then you good. said Harvey also had that. Um, uh, well, then you that's said Harvey. I'm just saying, the only person I sympathized with is in his house right now. But I don't know why in the life of me I 
feel white Takashi. No, what? He, he's he's on the street white, isn't he? Mm. But they're the what is he? He's, I mean, not, he's not black. Oh, his, his, <laughs> you know. is it Latino? La Latino, I think. Yeah. No, for me, I I'm, can't I'm, tell from the tattoos and the color yeah, of yeah. his. name is you know, Hernandez. Hernandez. Oh, right. yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I, in the life of me, I keep thinking he's is better off safe in prison than being out. And now there are a lot of other issues to be considered. It's being um, being under home arrest because right now they don't even know where the confinement is going to be. Mm. Um, certain questions pop up like, is he going to be allowed to be online to get back on social media? Mm. Um, is he going to be allowed visitors? Is he allowed to, to go out? You know, so well, you're not allowed that, to go yeah, out. That's anyway. it. You know, they, they see all of that. And, We're and, all in one yeah. home yeah. arrest or the other. And also, mm. um, I, I just hope at the end of the day, somehow for him, this turns out really better for him as a person. Is he a changed man? Um, I can't. I, I don't. I don't necessarily. I don't. I don't know. There's. There's no way for me to measure that right now. Like in the case of um, Nikki's husband. Um, so Ke you can measure that. Yeah, because you see. Why can't you measure? Steps. How? How? Look at the looks this guy for me. Why? Because Kennedy's taking steps. We can see what? steps he's taking. Which Turning is? himself in, going to register as a sex mm. offender. In, 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 wait, wait, wait. Well, well, he he has to first. Don't you're dragging remember, me here to go and register. Remember, That's we what said. Happened. Remember, we said. Mm. I mean, it's Why not. It's not the easiest thing to do. Offender. You know, I'm not defending a sex offender. I'm just saying. So for Takashi, mm. I'm just hoping at the end of the day, after all of this is done for him, that it turns out and comes out a better man. I and, think he will. And I hope the, the gang, on the other hand, waiting for him, will actually <laughs> give it. <laughs> because I know that's one thing you okay. don't do to the gang. You yeah. don't snitch on the gang. You don't. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm just, I'm just, I just hope he stays alive after everything is done and over. Mm -hmm. I, have, I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's out, uh, to be honest. Why don't you just get him, like, a VIP section in the... Oh, wow. In the, you, you know, not like, the, the special special I know why he's out. He has underlying health issues. And he's wow. just serving his asthma. remaining... Yes, he's having uh, his remaining four months. It's not like he's out and free. He's still a prisoner just having one stand has the same underlying in health issues. I don't, I don't know, he just I don't know what you're talking about. He just got in. Let, um, oh, wow. Oh, okay. What's this? Mm, what's this? Um, what's okay. This? And that's how I wrap up this episode of Seed Time. Thank you for watching. And like I always say, you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. But before we go, I know you, you feel bored in the house. So here is something to keep you entertained and busy this this weekend as we practice social distancing so watch some of your favorite artists this weekend in the stay home with me initiative by youtube um they're going to have sash shayi 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 Shay, Shay, simi and of course ty below um, they'll all be performing live from their homes to your screen so all you have to do is visit g o o g l forward slash stay home with me um for more details and trust me last weekend was fun so this weekend should be much more fun, right? My girl to Simi or to... To Shay Shay. Oh, okay. Shay Shay, mm. my girl. Right. Okay. Shay Shay. Yeah. Mm. So may, who may, are you looking may, forward may, to seeing? Shay Shay. So mm. she might have on the show next week. Who are you looking to Simi. <laughs> okay. All right. We have to go. I know I want to worship God with T.Y. Bellu. So, um, so remember, oh, you can catch up I on this have episode. I just have with Shay Shay. And <laughs> all our exclusive <laughs> content. <laughs> by subscribing to our YouTube channel of Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors Ife Omai and Beniak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay home and stay safe.